Hi, this is Greg Lowe. This is another video in the STU tool series called Create Linked Server to Azure SQL Database. Often when working with Azure SQL Databases, I find I need to copy data between an on-premises SQL Database, or maybe one in a VM, and the Azure SQL Database. Or, alternately, I'm building an application that uses the on-premises one, and I want to read data from the one in the cloud. Now, the easiest way to do this first up is to use a linked server. Now, in the future, hopefully we'll be able to use uh, external tables and external data sources instead, but for the moment, linked servers are the easiest. And so we've made a tool that just makes it easier to set this up. So we have an STU tool called Create Linked Server to Azure SQL Database. Takes the parameters of the linked server name, what do you want to call that, the name of the server in Azure, the port that it's on, which is normally 1433, the name of the SQL database, the remote login name and password, whether or not it's collation compatible, that's really important in terms of making sure that the speed of access is good, and whether we can do RPC, remote procedure calls, in and out. And this is to do with stored procedure execution. I've already set one of these up, so let's have a look. Under linked servers, I've got Azure here, a server called Azure Public Data is what I call the linked server. There's a public data database on that server, and then we'll have a look. There are some tables there as well, and the idea is that we can also then just query those directly. So if I looked at Azure Public Data, let's query that. So if I said select Asta from Azure Public Data, and then we need to know the catalog name, which will be public data in this case. Dot DBO, the schema, and last names was the table name. And if we execute that, notice I can query this is coming straight back from Azure, and it's a table with a list of last names and, and IDs. Look, we hope you find this useful. I forget the syntax for doing this all the time if I do it manually, so it's just a lot easier to have a tool set up to do it. We hope you think so too. For more information on STU tools and for a link to download them, please visit our site at sqldownunder.com.